What's up everyone, Carlos here. So what's going on with The Predator and Alien films? I've done a few videos in the past covering the small news that's been floating around. So now I just want to give an update on where everything is at now. Let's start off with the upcoming Predator movie, which has been given the hidden title of Skulls and directed by Dan Trackenberg. The production company seems to be linked to Davis Entertainment over on imdb.com which also has connections to other films with the Predator, like the standalone Predator movies or the Alien vs. Predator films. Over on the website aliensvspredator.net, the story synopsis is this. It involves Key, a Comanche woman who goes against gender norms and traditions to become a warrior. Many years ago, in a time before any Europeans had ever encroached on their lands, the Comanche people had a well-defined society and gender norms. Key is very close to her younger brother, Tab, who is being groomed as a leader, as capable as any young man in the tribe. Key has always been a teacher and source of inspiration for Tab. In the Comanche way, she is Patsy, the elder sister that has helped to shape him. Key is a truth teller and has insight that others do not. A tomboy, she wants to prove herself in the masculine world of the Comanche. When danger threatens them all, Key sets out to prove that she is as capable as any young warrior. Back in January 8th of 2020, there was a Facebook post on the Tribal Film Festival, and they were looking for actors to fill the roles of characters called Key and Tab, which seemed to match the synopsis of the film. This post also gives us some details about Tab. It says this, Tab's name means sun, like the star in the sky, which lets you know the tribe's expectations for him. He is being groomed to be a chief one day, having relied on the counsel of his older sister Key, his Patsy, for his entire life. Tab has just had a taste of success in one of his first big hunts. As he is coming of age and fresh off of his first triumph. He feels that he's now a leader or in charge and no longer needs key, which causes the first rift in their very close relationship. Ever since this news about Skulls came out, a lot of fans have linked it to being the newest film in the Predator franchise, and a post from Dan Trackenberg on Twitter pretty much confirmed this a long time ago. Now back in 2020 he said this, this was meant to be a surprise been working on this for almost four years now. I am very sad that what we had in store for how you would discover this movie will no longer happen. It's a bummer. But also, yay. According to the website IATSE212.com, which stands for International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees, we've also learned that the filming location is going to take place in Calgary, Alberta, and at the very bottom of the page, there is a listing for a film called Skulls. It's not the first time a Predator story took place around Native Americans. I covered one character story in the comic books. In the issue of Big Game, it includes a Native American named Enoch Nakai. I'm going to leave a link to that video if you want to see his full story. So what do I think about the synopsis? Well, like a lot of fans out there, I'm not too interested in what I read about a young female character taking on the lead role to fight a predator. And we still don't have any pictures of the set or the other characters or how many predators will be in the film. But if they manage to pull it off, it could be a good film. But from what we know so far, it's just something that I'm not really into. I brought up this topic before the Predator 2018 movie came out. And I was hoping we would get a film about the actual predator history of their hunts and hierarchy, something that goes deep into the lore, mythology, and rituals, stuff that the comic books and video games have done before. But I will not be surprised if this movie turns out with a typical ending like the humans win and the predator is defeated, the end. They could still apply some bits of predator lore in the film, something that could give us more insight into their culture. For all we know, this could end up being a great film, but I know the fans are very unsure about the story right now. 
The last Predator movie, directed by Shane Black in 2018, did introduce the hybrid Ultimate Predator, which I did like, but the film itself had way too many jokes, which did not seem too serious to me, and the constant cuts from the original script ended up making the story feel rushed. They removed other hybrids from the movie and two emissary Predators that were only seen in early photographs. Now let's move on to the news about the future of the Alien franchise. An article posted on Forbes.com in September of 2020 has an interview with Ridley Scott. It's mostly about his work on Raised by Wolves. The last part of the interview has Ridley Scott talking about a new alien film and how it does not link to the story of the last two movies which were Prometheus and Alien Covenant. He said this, That's in process. We went down a route to try and reinvent the wheel with Prometheus and Covenant. Whether or not we go directly back to that is doubtful, because Prometheus woke it up very well. But you know, you're asking fundamental questions like, has the alien himself, the face hugger, the chest burster, have they all run out of steam? Do you have to rethink the whole bloody thing and simply use the word to franchise? That's always the fundamental question. I'm glad they're planning to make another alien film, but it's strange how they don't plan to revisit the story of David, Daniels, and the engineers. We were supposed to get a story about David being chased by the other engineers when they found one of their planets destroyed by him. I actually really like the concept of the engineers. This could have even been a way to close the story entirely on the origins of the alien and how it could be linked to the first movie. Since they might go in a different direction, I'm open to see what they do with it. I just hope we get closure on David's story at some point in time. But here is where this whole thing gets a little confusing. IMDB has Ridley Scott listed as a producer to an untitled Alien prequel. So does that mean they will continue the Alien prequel story but without David, Daniels, and the engineers? We will have to wait and see. There's also an Alien TV series that's in development at FX and available on Hulu when it's completed. This comes from the Disney Twitter account on December 10th of 2020. Ridley Scott is also listed as an executive producer on one episode. According to Variety.com, it says this about the Alien TV series. Set not too far into our future, it's the first Alien story set on Earth and by blending both the timeless horror of the first Alien film with the non-stop action of the second, it's going to be a scary thrill ride that will blow people back in their seats. So that wraps up all the information I can gather about both franchises. Thank you so much for watching, and I would like to know your thoughts on these topics and what direction they are going. Do you like any of it, or do you want something different? You can put your feedback in the comments section. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to see more updates on these films in the future. This is Carlos or Acid Glow and I'll see you in the next video.